Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. Guys, today I create slow motion title animation with using After Effect and Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I'm using Cinema 4D and I go to More Graph and use More Text. And guys, I type slow, enter, motion and alignment, take middle. Guys, change font. Font, I use some impact, this one. Yes, and change guys this depth, this spacing, vertical spacing decrease. Yes, that's it. And increase depth. I take like 30. Right. After that, guys, go on caps and create single object check. That's it. And now again, I go to more graph and use Ronnie fracture. So guys, select this more text and make child with Rodney fracture. Guys, select Rodney fracture and I go to object and colorize fragments uncheck. And I go to display, select God shading lines. Guys, go on source and point generate check. Guys, distribution type, I take normal, this one. And point amount, I take 200. And guys, this is not compulsory but i check high quality check that's it right okay after that guys i create animation so select this ronnie fracture go on more graph effector and guys this time i take push apart this one yes guys select this push apart and radius i take like 20 and interaction i take like 25 Right, guys, increase frame like 600 and increase. So, guys, now I go to 120 frames, 120 and strength I take 0. Check. And, guys, I go to 520 frames, 520 and strength increase like 100% and check. That's it guys. So go on back and play. See guys. Right. Okay. That's really good. Now guys. This time I apply random effector. So again select Rodney fracture. Go on more graph, effector and take random. Yes, guys go on same 120 frame, 120 and select this random and parameter. Guys position, all position take 0, 0 and 0 on 120 frame and rotation 0. And now I go to like 200 frames, 200. Yes, and position randomly guys, type 5, 5 and check and rotation 5 and 5 and check. Yes, that's it guys. So go on back and play. Yeah, great. It's really good right okay now guys this time i apply plane effector so guys select this ronnie fracture go on more graph effector this time i take plane yes guys position take zero but guys this time i go to like 500 frames 500 and all position this one only take i p dot z check and rotation check Rotation check and guys, I go to like 440 and P dot Z rotation actually position take minus 1000 and check and position also change randomly guys like 20 and 90 minus 40 randomly and check right see guys. So go on back and play.
yeah great right see guys this is my final animation and now guys i create camera movement animation so i take camera and camera check guys position all take 0 0 and 0 on 0 frame rotation also 0 and 0 so uncheck camera a little bit back little bit yeah and guys press this animation key and also rotate this camera on zero frame so guys select this camera rotate guys this is my rotation and b rotation take minus 45 and check right and now guys i go to like like 250 frames and camera go on back like this check camera yes guys select camera and position like i take minus 800 and press this animation key and rotation also take zero and check right so guys go on back and play see guys this is my now camera movement animation yes great right okay now guys i apply material guys i create material so go on color and guys see this is my metal scratch texture you can download this texture from my website i give you link in description so select this diffuse and open on color guys go on reflection default specular this one my reflection and open and no guys go on layer add and take reflection legacy roughness i take like 20 and brightness i take 50 guys go on texture and i take color actually fragrance this one and mix strength i take 50 yes guys go on bump and this is my bump texture apply strength i take like only 10 that's it guys so close and apply on more text yes see guys right and render preview yeah great right okay now and guys this time i take sky use environment light so again create new material open color uncheck reflection uncheck only select luminance go on back guys see this is my sdri light and open and no so close apply on sky yeah see guys this is my sdri light right and after that guys select this light actually sky and use compositing tag and scene by camera uncheck that's it see right go on back and play and again render preview yeah great see guys this is my realistic shining metal texture great okay and now guys most important part is i create ray flare light so i take light take light simple point light go on here and guys this time intensity i take like 20 and color take blue yeah that's it let's take like 20 see guys my color correction is actually color code is 220 and 100 that's it and guys now i take spotlight this one rotate this light 180 degree guys select this spotlight and this is my visible light i take volumetric yes 
little bit here create like this right and i increase size yes see guys right okay select light and go on details fall off i take this one physical accuracy and visible sam i take like 20 centimeter go on camera and create renders yeah see guys it's really good it's rear flare effect so camera uncheck select this light little bit closer and intensity increase intensity i take 300 percent yes so uh, camera and render preview yeah this one is better right it's really good okay now guys copy this light so select this spotlight and copy go on here and increase size decrease size so select decrease like this little bit smaller yeah and closer intensity i take like 150 percent that's it and again go on camera and render preview yeah great see guys okay guys select this light little bit more closer yeah and guys select this light and again copy apply on here right i apply three lights so guys select this light two and three little bit down and rotate yeah that's it so go on camera and render preview great see guys it's really good right now render preview great okay now guys i create render setting i create renders take full hd frame this one and all frame guys go on save this is my format and jpeg sequences and this is my save file path go on desktop create folder like ran and take any file name okay nt select best that's it guys don't use ambient occlusion and global illumination we don't need anything so close and render okay guys i already create renders so i show you my renders so close this renders where is my renders see guys this is my jpeg sequences renders see right and now I create guys color correction on after effect so select like this one this is my final renders jpeg sequences go on after effect and go on project right click import and import file guys see this is my slow motion renders and select first frame and import jpeg sequences check and import select this renders drag and drop and main com see right it's really easy guys okay so stop now i create background actually we don't need any background i take new adjustment layer this one and guys go on effect and preset type hue h u e hue and saturation apply on adjustment layer and colorize check and guys colorize hue change like i take blue yes and colorize saturation i increase like 80 yeah see guys this is my final animation you can take any color like green 
like this green is really better and guys i also apply glow so effect and preset type glow apply on adjustment layer and change radius like increase like 200 and intensity 0 0.5 yeah right see guys it's final render for me so guys my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download my project file from my website it's free thank you